When discussing sustainable flight, the second common misconception is that electric flight will soon have us flying whilst producing zero carbon emissions. You may have heard talk of a third era of air travel. First, there was propeller aircraft powered by piston engines. Then there was airliners powered by jet engines. And now a new age of electric flight is finally upon us. And as an aerospace engineer, there's a lot to get excited about. Some of the new aircraft designs coming out of startups like Eviation and Lilium are really breaking the mold of conventional aircraft design. Electrical technology allows us to unlock new aircraft and engine designs that were never possible before, such as distributed propulsion. However, electric flight is only a near-term solution for very short-range flights carrying a very limited number of passengers. For example, 10 passengers flying for less than one hour. It's a medium term, i.e. next 20 years solution for regional flights. But such flights are really a competitor to public transport, such as bus, rail and ferry services, which are really a much more effective and efficient mode of transport than flying, and are really a much better use of the limited low carbon energy we're able to produce from renewables. Importantly, electrical flight will not be a competitor to most commercial flights made in single aisles such as A320, Boeing 737, or twin aisle flights such as an A350, Boeing 787. Those types of passenger aircraft account for the vast majority of fuel burned by the aviation sector. 80% of aviation emissions come from flights exceeding 1,500 kilometers or 900 miles, and electric flight is just not a competitor at that sort of range. The chief technology officer of Airbus has stated that even assuming huge advances in battery technology with batteries that are 30 times more efficient and energy dense than they are today, it would only be possible to fly an A320 airliner, so one of the most popular aircraft used today, for a fifth of the range with just half of its payload. The current issue is that electrical motors, generators, transmission and storage technology is just far too heavy compared to jet fuel and jet engine technology. As such, for the foreseeable future, electrical technology will only augment jet engines. For example, more electric fuel pumps that will be pumping fossil fuel to the jet engine. The key takeaway message is that electric flight will not help the current climate crisis. We will exceed the global carbon budget for 1.5 degrees C within the next decade or so, far before electric flight becomes viable and before we've decarbonized electricity generation.